Good morning, friends. Hello, hello. I'm so excited because today is project day. And today we're gonna to be making our acorn project. The supplies we'll be using today is our acorn cutout. And we, you should also have a bag that's full of little tissue paper squares. And then you're also gonna to wanna to use your Elmer's glue. All right, so this one is really fun and it makes our fingers super strong. So we're gonna get out our tissue paper squares. We might use all of them, we might not use all of them. Some of these crafts we have extras and that's okay. All right, so first I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these um, tissue paper squares because we're not just gonna glue them on like that. First, what we're gonna do is have some fun. So we're gonna get these little guys and we're just gonna squish them in our hand. Once you've squished them in your hand, not too small, about that size is pretty good. Just go ahead and set them to the side or if you want, you can start gluing them as soon as you squish them because eventually this whole acorn is gonna be full of our little squishy pieces. So we just get them, you put them in your hand and you just squish them up. And then if you get, wanna get, make them a little bit smaller, that's okay. Squish them up some more, put glue and set them down. So you're just gonna do that with all your tissue paper pieces. And I'm gonna draw a line because we just want to fill this part only. We're not going to put any tissue paper pieces on the bottom of the acorn. We're just going to put them up on the top. Okay, so I can just go ahead and start squishing and pushing. Squishing and pushing. All right. And this is also giving our fingers some exercises, helping our fingers get strong. So when we wanna use our fingers to write or play with our toys, they'll be strong. So there's the bottom. Now we're just gonna fill out the rest of the spaces. So I'm just gonna squish a bunch of them first. And then that way they'll be ready for me to just glue them. And make sure when you guys are squishing them, you squish them one at a time. Because if you squish a big old pile of them, then you're gonna, you're gonna waste them. We wanna use them individually all by themselves okay and plus if you do them in a if you squish them in a big pile when you glue them they won't the extra ones won't stick and they're just gonna fall off and we don't want them to fall off we want them to stick After this project, your fingers might be a little tired. They might want to take a nap. So if that happens, just let your fingers take a little nap. Let them rest. See, we just stick them right on the glue. They just stick right on there. You don't have to worry about them falling off if you just crunch them up one at a time. They stick perfectly. Kind of looks like you're crumpling a piece of trash, huh?
I wonder if you guys have ever seen a real acorn. And if you have, what do you think about it? How did it feel? Did it feel soft, smooth, hard, bumpy? And do you guys know what kind of animal likes to eat acorns? I'm pretty sure squirrels really like acorns. I think that they like to hide them too. So that in the winter time when it's cold and they don't want to go out in the cold, they store acorns in secret spots in their trees so that they have them to eat. See, that one didn't crunch up. There we go. Oops. All right, so I'm pretty much done with my acorn. As you can see, I have a lot of extra pieces. Now, if you want, you can crumple them up and stick them on your acorn or you can just save them and use them for a different project or make your own project out of the extras. I see a little spot of glue up here that I can put another one on. There we go. And there is our acorn project. Don't forget to send your teachers a picture of your beautiful acorn when you're done. Have a great day. Bye.